So how much will you earn working as a professional organizer? That is today's question. So you may be thinking, okay, I'll set an hourly rate like $50 an hour, and I'll try to bill like 20 or 30 hours a week, giving me an income of $1,000 to $1,500 a week. But the reality is there is no limit to the amount of money you can make as an organizer because you can earn money in so many different ways. I've made money working on a TV show, selling digital products, and charging fees for workshops. We are all familiar with celebrity organizers like Marie Kondo and Joanna and Clea, who I'm assuming have made millions with branded products, book deals, and other content. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you lots of ways you can earn a living with a career in professional organizing. Let's first talk about that hourly rate because I get a lot of questions about how to charge for professional organizing services. I did a whole video on that and you can uh, check out this link here and I'll put a link to the blog post in the description of this video. And I'm going to publish a video next week on that same topic. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little uh, bell so you are notified when that video is live. Basically the market will decide what your hourly rate could be because if you are in a small town or a small country, you are unlikely to be able to charge what an organizer would charge in a major US city like New York or LA, where professional organizing is an established service industry. I do prefer session pricing as well, since that guarantees that you will earn a certain amount each time you book an appointment and your client understands exactly what the payment will be for each session, so you are not trying to calculate in like 15 or 30 minute intervals of your time since home organizing is not an exact science. I also recommend that you have a price for consultations. Consultations are a great way to start with a new client or work with someone on a budget who does not want you to necessarily you know, sort and organize every item in their home, but just provide them with advice on storage ideas, product recommendations, and specific decluttering tips during an in-home or virtual appointment. So how can you earn more than an hourly rate as a professional organizer? One of the first ways I started earning beyond an hourly rate in my business was bringing on a team to work organizing projects that I had booked with my clients. After working about 18 months as a solo organizer, I created a really good system I could follow with my clients and was starting to get more clients than I could handle because of my marketing efforts. By the way, if you do not have a marketing plan or professional organizing method yet, you will want to get my course, Selling Organization. This course will give you that foundation so you'll have the option to build your clientele and grow a legitimate business. Because I was able to hire employees and contractors, I could charge higher rates for the days my team was working. But here's the secret. It actually cost my client less because we could complete projects faster. So it really was a win-win. The company could take on more clients and larger projects, which also gave us an edge over the competition. Another way I was able to charge beyond my hourly rate was with speaking engagements. This is when a group hires you to speak to them on the topic of organizing, decluttering, productivity, or your niche within this industry. When I started my business, I had horrible stage fright, which I almost conquered. Uh, so I didn't pursue the stream of revenue like some of my colleagues, but when I did give presentations, I could still charge five and 10 times more than what I would charge for one hour of organizing. If you love public speaking, I would strongly recommend adding this in your business plan as another stream of income. Now let's talk about writing. I have not published a best-selling book yet, uh, though I have a lot of ideas. But I do love writing and I have started earning a small income from my blog 
And my goal this year is to put more time into that revenue stream and earn as much as I would from providing one-on-one -on -one services. If you love to write, I would encourage you to start at least by writing content on social media like Instagram, because y'all know people are earning money by talking about organizing and decluttering over there or starting your own blog. I'm no expert in this area and it was so much easier for me to get a full-time income charging for organizing services, but after 15 years of doing that, I started to look into online income like blogging, YouTube, and uh, selling courses, which helped me during the pandemic when I was less comfortable taking on new face-to-face -face clients. Charging for consultations, building a team organizing business, public speaking, writing, content creation, offering virtual and digital products are just some of the ways to earn beyond your hourly rate working as a professional organizer. Let me know if you've come up with any others and do not limit yourself to just trading your time for money. Launch your service business and get steady clientele and book those hours, but keep an eye out for other opportunities to earn an income in the field of professional organizing. Please like and subscribe for more videos on decluttering, downsizing, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.